Worshiping the Holy Ghost is the beginning. It's a beginning where other people have not begun. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 13. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. Let him be your fear let him be your dread and we know we've been over this many times that the word fear could be interpreted worship so here it says sanctify the Lord of hosts and the Lord of hosts what hosts do you suppose he's talking about angels or armies mm -hmm. that's the literal interpretation of that word and we know that his his army is his angels so he's literally saying here sanctify the Lord of spirits sanctify the Lord of spirits himself and if he's the Lord of spirits he would be the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. this isn't too big of a jump I hope no. so sanctify the Spirit Lord himself he's a him he's a Lord of spirits he's the Spirit Lord and let him be your fear or worship and let him be your dread him who him the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. it matters who the Spirit Lord is yes. wouldn't it matter therefore yeah. who the Spirit Lord is wouldn't it be good to know who the Spirit Lord is if you were gonna worship him and sanctify him we're going to fast forward to the New Testament where we have much more revelation about who this Spirit Lord is because now we've entered into a completely different dispensation than they were back then we had Jesus come he did everything he needed to do through his death burial and resurrection right yeah. but then he ascended to the Father and is today seated at the Father's right hand and sent another they sent another. sent another who is that another the Holy Ghost and so he's the one he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today right mm -hmm. so now we are literally in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost who is the Spirit Lord in the earth today would have to be the Holy Ghost he's a spirit and he's the Spirit Lord Lord of everything going on in the earth today he's the mm -hmm. only one here 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away and like I've said many times when a veil is taken away you end up seeing something you didn't see before and if the veil remains you can't see it what are we seeing verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord or where literally the Spirit Lord is mm -hmm. there is Liberty what Spirit Lord we're not talking about Jesus we're talking about the Spirit Lord God the Holy Ghost this is not the dispensation of Jesus as much as you want it to be it's not it's the dispensation of the Holy Ghost say it's the dispensation, it's the dispensation of, the of the Holy Ghost and where the Spirit Lord is where is the Spirit Lord in, in the earth mm -hmm. the Spirit Lord is in the earth and where the Spirit Lord is there is Liberty Amen. this is a huge reality shift say now the Lord, now the Lord is, is that, spirit. that spirit what spirit the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord yeah. say that spirit, that spirit is, the Holy Ghost. is the Holy Ghost 
the Spirit Lord. Spirit. Not Jesus. And like I said, this is a huge reality shift for believers. Luke chapter 4, verse 8, Jesus said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Say, Thou shalt, thou shalt worship, worship the Lord thy God, Lord thy God. And, him and him only shalt thou serve. Shalt thou serve. Is this in your Bible? it's in red it sounds like scripture to me mm -hmm. I, I would say if if you didn't have any other scriptures that would be a really good one to have thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well we just read over in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 said now the Lord is that spirit now the Lord is that spirit say now the Lord, now the Lord is, that is that spirit thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve this is a huge reality shift if you will go here thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve this word only applies to both the worship and the service of him only again this is a huge reality shift and listen the ministry shift is equally as huge worship and service say worship, worship. and service. service who the Lord your God now the Lord is that spirit some won't make the change won't go here but that's also part of our reality those of us who have gone here and live here mm -hmm. I've had people literally come to my meetings with the express purpose of trying to correct me mm -hmm. and this includes family members you ever been here mm -hmm. little did they know that they haven't even begun haven't even begun Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning remember we talked about fear being the worship of the Lord mm -hmm. worship of what Lord the, Holy Ghost. the Lord your God the Holy Ghost now the Lord is that spirit reality shift who are you worshiping the Holy Ghost are you here mm -hmm the worship of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding but it's the beginning worshiping the Holy Ghost is the beginning it's a beginning where other people have not begun and this brings us to a very important statement I'm just starting in this say that I'm just, I'm just starting, starting in this yes. and by this I mean the worship of the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost it's a beginning mm -hmm. and you're just at the beginning of this I hope you can understand say I'm just, I'm just at the beginning, at the beginning. I worship you Holy Ghost is a complete inversion of things that you thought you knew before and beware just because you've briefly seen through the veil by worshiping the Holy Ghost doesn't make you an expert it's the beginning you were an expert over there but you didn't worship the Holy Ghost but now over here you're a baby mm -hmm. things are new things are different and it's why some people won't make the change not that they can't but a lot of them won't because they're unwilling to sacrifice all of that mm -hmm. that they thought they knew yeah. too much to lose mm -hmm. too many books written from a pre worshiper standpoint 
from the old reality which is not the same I liken this to someone who wants to make a career change later in life they're well established in their career with a certain amount of money certain amount of notoriety people looking up to them all that stuff right mm -hmm. but they want to make a career change but then they look at what that entails and it costs too much mm -hmm. because you go to the bottom you don't start at the top a drop in wages drop in respect now consider a preacher someone who has a well-developed ministry and a large congregation or a television audience these people are expecting a certain kind of message mm -hmm. and they've been preaching not this for 30 40 years mm -hmm. and they've never once heard the words come out of your mouth I worship you Holy Ghost which I'm proving tonight is a beginning it's not the end it's the beginning mm -hmm. say it's not the end, it's, not the end. It's, the it's the beginning and the shift is too great for many to risk losing all of those people losing all of those donations are you here yeah. so they don't they zip it mm -hmm. they won't go here I remember one lady she came up to me and she said after I was speaking on some of these things she said she said what well, why why do you have this revelation why did God give this revelation to you why didn't he give it to so-and-so some big-name preacher mm -hmm. who's to say that he didn't mm -hmm. I obeyed and said what he said to say and those people left yeah. what are you gonna do who would you rather have the Holy Ghost on your side or people that just want to hold you back but I'm very bold in this message today and yes I may have lost some people but my clarity will serve others they will be changed say they will be changed, they will be changed. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 9 give instruction to a wise man and he will be wiser you don't know it all you think you do but you don't nobody likes to hear that do they but the sad state of the church is that everybody thinks they know it all I don't care what group you go into everyone thinks they know everything have you met these people and here it says they're not wise because if you give instruction to a wise man he will become wiser mm -hmm. say I'm just, I'm just getting, started getting started in this, in this. I'm just getting started in this it is the appropriate position to take not I know it all you don't know it all you know next to nothing and if you've just come into the worship of the Holy Ghost as God you are a baby you are right at the beginning you don't bring everything else you had with you now I know firsthand as a musician started out as a musician and if you come into a church where you have some skills then the first thing they do is grab onto you and put you up on stage and you become the worship leader you just got saved you have no right to be in front of people as a leader but that's exactly what we do in churches mm -hmm. novices put in positions of authority in charge of the worship no less but I worship you Holy Ghost is a beginning it's not the end it's the beginning and you're not there yet the same thing with people in ministry they could have been in the ministry for many many years are there people like this making disciples thriving in the ministry their ministry and their disciples are multiplying and going forth about 
but they've not gone here therefore they've not begun in this room of Holy Ghost worship this will be a very popular message I can tell Acts chapter 19 verse 1 Acts chapter 19 verse 1 and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coasts came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples say finding, finding. Certain, certain disciples, disciples which meant they were disciples they were disciples of someone right yes. so someone had a ministry they were developed in the ministry and they were making disciples and no doubt these disciples were going out making other disciples are you here okay. verse 2 here's Paul and he said unto them first thing Paul says to them when he meets them have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed and they said unto him we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost are you kidding me so here are people disciples mm -hmm. the fruit of someone's ministry mm -hmm. and they had not even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost God in the earth today were they worshiping him the Holy Ghost not possible they hadn't even begun they haven't even started I hope you heard that are there a lot of people in that specific situation they're everywhere they have not started to worship the Holy Ghost they haven't even begun and I don't care how developed these disciples were mm -hmm. they still haven't begun yet there is a spirit Lord God in the earth today now the Lord is that spirit and he came into the earth as a person a divine person God with full authority to do whatever he needed to do in his dispensation say his, his. Dispensation. dispensation as a person as God in the earth I've said this a lot of times you can't come into the earth like that and not expect people to worship you you can't as God come into the earth as a person and be in the earth and not expect people to worship you to which I say back off because I know him as God the only God in the earth today and he's a person and I worship him Acts chapter 13 verse 2 as they ministered to the Lord now the Lord is that spirit remember that we read that as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said as they ministered to the Lord the Holy Ghost said as they worshiped the Lord the Holy Ghost said. say worshiped Worship. other translations literally say that as they worshiped the Lord the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them who called Barnabas and Saul the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost said separate me me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I called them they were worshiping the Lord Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost said separate sanctify me for the work whereunto I have called them right yes. verse 4 so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost yes. they worship the Holy Ghost he said separate me I've called them mm -hmm. and he the Holy Ghost sent them forth you will never get here without worshiping the Lord of Spirits and being separated and sanctified without worshiping him listen without worshiping him you will never be separated and sanctified you're separated from the old and sanctified for the new are you getting this and it is new 
well what if you do worship him you get separated you get sanctified see if I can get this across let's say you've never worshiped the Holy Ghost are there any people like that when you begin to worship him how would not everything beyond become a different thing if everything you've done up till now was not worshiping him when you begin worshiping him how would it not become a completely different thing you would begin in a whole new thing yeah this makes sense mm -hmm. if you don't worship him you're still behind a veil a religious veil because the new is not the old everyone wants to bring in all their old stuff with them into the new boo mm -hmm. sorry doesn't work you don't pass go and you don't collect two hundred dollars mm. that's a monopoly reference by the way but you have to worship him enough say enough, enough. until all that old garbage is left behind so many of you are still trying to haul around that old garbage with you over here when you should have begun anew and it's because listen it's because you think it gives you credibility in here and it does not all your old things are old they don't work over here now the Lord is that spirit where the Spirit Lord is there's liberty Amen. and it's a different kind of liberty than you thought you had out there mm -hmm. and the key word is you thought you had worship him enough until all the old garbage leaves worship him enough until all the old garbage leaves <laughs> you've heard of a New Year's resolution have you it's the thing people do for two weeks and then stop doing it <laughs> yeah that's not what I'm talking about no. the root word for resolution is resolved a thing that's resolved meaning it's that's it mm -hmm. I've resolved that they resolved. resolved I mean it's you don't have to visit it again it's a, it's resolved that's what a resolution should be I've come to the point where this is the way it's gonna be I'm not gonna do that anymore mm -hmm. right resolved is a thing of the past that has been say has been has been resolved I'm here now I'm in this room of Holy Ghost worship I worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve it's resolved this is where I am now I worship and serve the Spirit Lord Say, I worship, I worship and, serve and serve the Spirit Lord. And only until you do that will you clearly see or see clearly the glory that is to be obtained in front of you. Glory to glory I go. I'm in here. I worship and serve the Spirit Lord. And from glory to glory I go. I am resolved to know what I don't know mm. say I am resolved, I am resolved to, know to know what I don't know, I don't know. and I'm just getting started in this Amen. and it shall be glorious Lord of Spirits I thank you for bringing these people in and yes many people have heard and many more people are coming in and as they begin worshiping you the Spirit Lord and walking with you in the earth by saying words concrete and definite changes begin to take place in them they become new in almost every single way Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing them and causing them to grow up the right way in you worshiping you in Jesus name Amen, amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I've begun to walk with you in the earth financially and great glory 
shall begin to come to me in Jesus name amen father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God